I have been busy the last few days, last week and a half. I've been pretty busy. You can see I'm busy. I'm on the clock right now. I'm driving to Walmart because I need to get some more poop tea. Um, I did not have a satisfactory shift this morning. And I'll probably get a little bit of work done when I get back to the hotel. And then uh, go to the gym. I'm hitting the gym. And they have YMCA's up here. And the first Y that I went to was not great. I will say it was pretty fucking shitty. So I'm going to branch out to another Y, because why not? And I mean, I was in a similar situation with my hotel. The hotel was pretty shitty to start off with, which like I'm a little surprised by because it was a Crown Plaza. But when I got there, they didn't have any tubs. First and foremost, they didn't have any motherfucking tubs. And I did a video. Because I got moved to a uh, Homewood and Homewood is my shit. Uh, Homewood is like my go to. <gasps> Oof. My first hotel did not have bathtubs. They didn't have bathtubs. Um, this one, however, does. I could live here. I could die here. That first dip in the tub, that first fucking slip into the drink. <sighs> my armpit is. It's thinking. It, it was it was so bad guys it was bad it was really fucking bad but anyway i am on a money vacation i'm on a work trip and i am doing inspections um they're called qc's and they're very similar to what i was doing um you know years before when uh when i first started doing the qc's they're different than the qc's i was doing before but they're similar to the ones i was doing in louisiana where like it's kind of in its infancy as far as um it's a new program and we're kind of trying to test it out they sent me out to augusta georgia and this is an interesting place to be i will say it's very interesting because it reminds me of like if louisiana was trying to be florida because there's like areas where there's palm trees and Spanish moss and all that kind of stuff where it's almost like Savannah like going to Savannah, Georgia um, but also a little sprinkle of buffalo where it's rough. It's it's a little rougher here. There's some areas that are like rough and the, the, the Y that I went to it was in a rougher area and ooh buddy, ooh they don't have mats in the bathroom. I almost slipped and cracked my fucking head open this is like Virginia a little bit. It's like being in like a because like there's water here. The Savannah River is over here and so it feels a little not like a port town but like a water place. Like it just feels wet here. Yeah you definitely can feel that and you can feel that like there was factories I don't put sugar in my tea. What I put in my tea is various flavored, like, you know, the syrups that you put in cocktails. That's what I put in my tea. Because I, I enjoy concoctions and I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit of a boozy bitch. I feel like that's not boozy. I just, I like for the shit that I drink to taste nice. And, um, I feel like that's the way to do it, right? Uh, I'll, I'll be back with y'all. All right. So I'm in my hotel. Yeah, done for the day. I think I might, instead of going to the Y, I think I might go downstairs and do the gym here in the hotel because I need to hurry up back and get in the tub. My, my armpit is... I don't know. I know I said that it was it was good earlier, but I, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I wanted to talk about real quick because <clears throat> this is kind of just a a crazy experience. It happened like not quickly, but I mean it did happen quickly, but 
it was more just how mundane like how it could have just gone under the radar but like it was really weird to me and so i mentioned it and so i went to this lady's house and did an inspection and um when i pulled up the the school bus was out in front of the house and this little girl gets off the bus and she turns around like this and it looks like something was thrown at her and she turns around and just kind of brushes it off and walks into the house and this little girl happens to be the daughter of the lady who I'm doing the inspection for and um, I get out of my car I take a picture of the house and look down and see like there's broken pencils on the ground it's like two pencils that have been broken in half and I I don't know so that seemed wrong that seemed weird seemed fucking weird and so i did the inspection and talked to the little girl's mom and all that stuff and at the end i was like i don't want to like be all up in your business but um it seems like somebody threw something at your daughter as she's getting off the bus and i it, it didn't look right and I, I just wanted to mention it to you because it made me uncomfortable to see that because and like she was asking like what, what did she do what did she do? like what was her response I was like she just you know was like what the fuck was that yeah it just made me think of Dig and him never telling his parents about how insanely he was bullied and the sheer amount of adults that witnessed it, that knew that it was happening and didn't say anything, didn't do anything to help. And I, I think it's fucking wrong. <laughs> As a kid who bullied bullies, I, I can't be that person that doesn't say anything that's like fucking complacent. I, I it's just wrong. And like, before that, I went to um, this guy's house and we were talking about animals because love animals love nature and his he has like stray cats that he takes care of in the neighborhood and the neighbors hate him for it and i'm like bitch <laughs> die mad his main bestie came up and her name is sissy and she doesn't really like anybody and it's been years that he's been you know interacting and taking care of this cat like he got her fixed like that's he's like very invested in animals and you know giving back to nature and sissy's not even cool with his daughter like She's so skittish that she she doesn't want anybody to pet her. And she literally just walked up to me and I was like, oh, what's up? And he's like, that's really weird. That's super weird. I I wasn't expecting her to just walk up to you like that. And she's she's really oh, she was incredibly sweet. It was just a really sweet dog. Or I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a dog. I'm thinking of the dog at the lady's house. The, she had like this tiny, tiny, like it was like fucking small, like shouldn't be outside by himself tiny dog <laughs> but the cat was really sweet um the dog was incredibly grumbunctious and happy to see me um but talking to that guy it, it felt very much like you know he used to be into hunting and he didn't he doesn't hunt anymore and his brother would make fun of him for it and he's like i just i can't i can't kill animals anymore i just it doesn't feel right and so that made me think of kind of being in the position to do something that you morally feel is the right thing to do and doing it it feels pretty good to do um and not like i feel rewarded from doing it but like maybe i helped maybe and i mean i could have made her life a little bit more difficult with her mom her mom might you know think i have to like super be involved and stamp this out but I think in the long run, the the heartache, the frustration of your mom being up in your business definitely outweighs some of the major issues that can fall out from being bullied. Um, depression alone, like never mind like physical injury or I don't know, any other mental issues and neuroses that ri arise from that um, 
just the isolation, just like in the moment, the humiliation is pretty fucking horrendous. And so I think while like it can be kind of nosy to kind of point out that kind of stuff, for a lot of kids, I don't know, they, their brains aren't fully developed and so they don't quite understand that like they're not alone that they don't have to endure and that adults are here for the most part they're supposed to be at least to protect them and to set things right and when the world seems you know too big to navigate adults make it feel smaller adults make problems seem smaller because they have the years of experience and perspective to know that this isn't as big of a deal as you think it is because you're you're just a kid and I hate using you're just a kid but it is true that like being a kid does cloud your understanding of the world and you're you're just seeing a small corner of existence and thinking like this is the whole world and it seems so fucking huge and it's not it's not and it's okay not to know it's okay to be scared this shit's scary but um you are never alone yeah and i i'd like to think that um in another life i could feel not alone in another fucking universe <laughs> Somebody would have said something about Dick being bullied. Someone would have pointed it out and brought it to someone's attention and stopped it. I like to think that. But yeah, work has been work. I, I, I enjoy my job, and so it's actually not like, oh, work is work. It's work is work because I like helping people, and I do it. I would say rather well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll get back to y'all with like some actual content when I um, have like kind of settled in because this is a new job, um, not a new job, but like a new role that I'm doing and it's a bit different. And so I'm having a, there's a, you know, learning curve, like kind of a grace period for me to get my bearings because I haven't been deployed and working for like, you know, months at a time out of a hotel in a minute. Um, I've been in a hotel, like, but only for like a week at a time to do, um, the disaster assessments. Um, but this time it's going to be, I'm like checked into this hotel for a month. And so it's going to be a long haul and I love the long haul. We know I love the long haul. I love a money fucking vacation and I'm probably going to find some trails over here. They have some trails and I've seen some and I'm really excited to hop on a trail and get some walking in. I bought some new sneakers when I went to Walmart. And so, yes, yes, money vacation is a go.